girls, I am so, so sorry. It's such last minute, but your dad has a friend that just got into town, and so we have to go pick him up from the airport. We shouldn't be too long, but you never know. Yeah, that's fine, Mom. That's okay. You can trust us. We'll be fine. Yeah, you can take your time, Mom. We'll be all right. I already miss you. We haven't even left yet, Mom. Oh, girls, girls, girls. I actually called Nikki to see if she would come over and babysit you guys just for a little while. Not Nikki! No! No! Nikki! Guys, when I called her on the phone today, I had mentioned that I didn't want her to be so bossy as she was last time. So she's gonna just try to stick to herself and you guys just need to be on your best behavior and just do your own thing and she shouldn't be a bother, okay? Our lives are over. Yep, I feel dead already. I don't even know what to say. Uh. Don't you guys think you're being a little dramatic? Yeah, but dramatic is my middle name. Okay, that's Nikki at the door. Your dad is waiting for me in the car. I've got to go, girls. Be on your best behavior, and we'll be back soon, I promise. Oh, hi, Nikki. So good to see you. You as well. Have a fun drive to the airport or whatever you're doing. <laughs> okay, you uglies. I've got like 10 days worth of snarls in my hair that I've, that I've got to comb out, so just let me be and go up to your room and do something really dumb that you guys probably do. That is no way to talk to us. We're way too cute for your attitude. So, yeah, we're gonna go upstairs and do something amazing. Peace out. Yeah, what she said, that's my sister. So, uh, yeah, in your face. We're gonna go be awesome somewhere else. Amen, um, I'm just gonna follow them, cause, yeah. Oh, finally those uglies are out of my hair. All right, you guys, what do you say we get out of here? Well, what do you mean get out of here? Like out of our bedroom? We can go to Harper's room or the baby's room or mom and dad's room. Meow, 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 meow. I've been craving some adventure lately, so what do you guys say we get out of the house? Sparkles, are you crazy? Uh-huh. Well, yeah, I, I know you knew that. Uh, you are crazy. But anyways, Mom and Dad are going to be back really soon. We can't just go leave the house. We're being babysat. Um, actually, if you were to baby, if you were to sit on a baby, it would probably um die. So we're not being babysat. If we're the babies, Nikki, Licky, Licky, Nikki is not sitting on us. Oh wow! Yeah. Thanks for clarifying, cutie. You're welcome. Alright, well, if you guys don't want to come, I'm going on an adventure. I think I want to go check out um, that one cemetery. It's just really cool. So, yeah, see you guys later. I'm going to go, go. I'm going to go, go. Go, 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 go. You can't leave, Sparkles. Watch me. Well, she shouldn't go alone. What do you think, Cutie? Should we go with her? I guess so. I mean, what could happen? That's the problem. We don't know. So we all need to stick together. True. Okay. Yep. Let's go on this adventure. Oh, so I see you guys have decided to join me on my adventure excursion. Yeah, well, we figured it's better to travel in pairs, like with other people. Yeah, we don't want anything bad to happen, do you? All right. Just follow me. Adventure time, adventure. Hmm. Smell the flowers. Ah. It's not much further, guys. Don't worry. Better not be. I didn't wear my walking shoes. Yeah, I'm already sweating profusely. Meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. <sighs> okay, guys, we're here. Woo! Oh, yeah. We're definitely at the cemetery, all right. This place actually gives me the heebie-jeebies. I don't want to be here that long. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. You guys want to play like hide and seek or something super amazing or fun? Uh, I'm down for anything. Um, hide and go seek here? That sounds absolutely terrifying. Where would we hide? Behind the gravestones and behind the creepy plants and trees? Well, yeah, that's what makes it cool. I'm 
not so sure about this, Sparkles. I think we should probably be heading back home. Mom and Dad are, are probably home now, and they're going to start looking for us. Yeah, we should probably head back. I don't have a good feeling about being here. Oh, guys, live a little. It's cool to be here. This is fun. Oh, cutie cat, come back over here. Meow, meow. She 
doesn't understand human. Well, it was worth a shot. I can't remember the last thing I said to mom. Well, the last thing we all said to mom, we were kind of grumpy because we were mad that she was leaving us with Licky Nicky. I miss mom. Yeah, she was always good to us. Yeah, and so is dad. Well, it's getting dark outside, guys. Are you guys comfortable enough to fall asleep? No, Harper, because I'm standing up. When was the last time you fell asleep standing up? Touche. I feel pretty comfortable if I lay back like this. I'm kind of too scared to readjust myself. And I feel like I might fall off. Don't fall, Sparkles. You'll die. D-I-E. Die. Well, if we're gonna be spending the night here, I gotta get comfortable somehow. Uh, this doesn't exactly feel comfortable or safe. Alright, well standing up sleeping it is. Well, at least we're not stuck on the ground where all the bugs and critters are. Cutie, you know bears can climb trees, right? And snakes can slither, slither up trees and all sorts of bugs live in trees, so we're not exactly safe yet. Oh, gotcha. Well, that's kind of... doesn't make me want to fall asleep now. Oh. I want to get back home, you guys. Why do we have to follow you, Sparkles, and you're not so good ideas? I'd rather be at home with Licky Nicky, the babysitter. <laughs> That's how scared and sad I am right now. Don't worry, I'm sure Mom and Dad will put out a search and rescue for us really soon. But what if they don't? What if they've been trying to get rid of us this whole time? You mean all the love that they've shown us has been a lie? Never know. You guys are hallucinating. They love us, okay? This was just not a very good idea of mine, and I got you guys involved, and I'm sorry. We just need to wait this out and hope that Mom and Dad find us soon, or somebody that can help get us down, like a fire truck with a ladder. We are going to be just fine, you guys. Don't worry. Just try to get some shut-eye, and we will be home before you know it. Oh yeah, I am so drop dead gorgeous. I already know it. I should probably check on the uglies and see what they're up to. <laughs> um, uh, girls, <laughs> where are you? <laughs> Great, I think I just heard Barbie and Ken pull up. I'm not gonna get paid at all. Uh oh, I lost their daughters. Oh, hey, uh, Nikki, thanks for watching our girls' sh such short notice. Uh, that was that was a lifesaver. Oh, yes, most definitely. Thank you so much, Nikki. They didn't give you any trouble, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, no, no trouble. I uh, hardly remembered that they were even here. They were really good. Oh, great, that's so good to hear. Thank you so much for coming and watching them short notice. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. Let me just get my money out of my purse and so I can pay you. You know what? I'm going to pay you a little extra just because I know you did a really good job. And, I don't know, I just feel bad for calling you like an hour beforehand. So, yeah, I'm going to give you a hundred dollars. Oh, no, that's okay. That's not necessary. Thank you, though, Barbie. Oh, don't be silly, Nikki. You deserve it. Uh, no, really, I don't. Uh, I have to tell you something, Barbie. <laughs> Did you have a friend over while you were babysitting? That's okay. It's not, like, my favorite thing because, you know, if you have a friend over and you're babysitting someone else's kids, it kind of makes you not pay attention to the kids as much, but that's okay. That's fine. No, Barbie, you see, um, I don't know where your girls are. What? I'm speechless. Are you serious? Yeah, I can go help you find them. I, I, I just noticed that they weren't in their bedrooms. In that case, you're fired, Nikki. You will not be babysitting our, our girls ever again. Uh, yeah, I don't blame you for making that decision. <laughs> Alright, uh, I can go unless you want me to help you find your girls. You are... I, I don't even have a word for you. You can just go. Go home. We need to call the police and get them involved, because we have no idea where our girls would be at this time. Okay, sorry about that. Ken, what do we do? I don't even know where to start. First things first, we need to call the police and let them know that we're looking for our girls. It's like you hear of these things happening, but you never think it's going to happen to you. Honey, I'm sure our girls are fine. I'm sure they're all together, and, you know, we just need to find where they are. They might be stuck somewhere, so... We just need to keep calm and realize that they're all together.
Yeah, you're right, you're right. Uh, pray for the worst, hope for the best, I guess. Exactly. Well, I feel like I've had a pretty good life so far. So, it'd be really sad to die now. But I feel like I've fulfilled my life. And everything I've ever wanted to do. Oh, not me, Sparkles. I still have a lot to live for. Like what, cutie? What else do you have to live for? Well, I've got cutie cat. She's pretty amazing, even though she can't understand human. But I've got her to live for. I have um my bed to live for because it's really comfortable. And I feel like an angel when I lay in it. And um, I really love Levi and Ben. I've got them to live for. And no way, Levi and Ben are all mine. Yeah, whatever in your dreams. I've got school to live for, Miss Pepper to live for. I've got so much. So I'm not about to die in this cemetery. I know that we're going to be found, you guys. So don't be losing hope on me. Too late. Yeah, I guess I've got a lot to live for, too. I love to go um, swimming and boating and hiking and exploring. There's a lot I like to do. So I think there's more adventure than this. So, yeah, we're probably going to be found cutie. You're right. Why aren't you hopeful, Sparkles? Well, just think about it. We've been here for hours. No one knows where we are. They only know, maybe, that we're not at home. And that's it. Hey, who's that dude walking over to us? I don't know. He looks familiar, though. Oh, he's getting closer. He looks like he's crying. Oh, my gosh, you guys. That's Levi. Perfect. My knight in shining armor is going to save me. Oh, you guys, be quiet. That's so embarrassing. We can't let him know we're stuck up here. Then you must not truly love him. I do, too. You must not. Because love isn't about seeing somebody at their best all the time. It's about seeing each other at each other's worst times. And this is not a good time for us and we need saving. Oh, he has a blanket with him. He's using it to dry his tears. Be quiet for a second, guys. Let's see what he goes and does. <laughs> oh, Fluffy. You are much too young to die. I brought you a blanket in case the ground is getting really too cold. I'll, I'll lay it on your grave. Just know that I miss you and I love you, Fluffy. <laughs> no. Why? Why? Oh, Fluffy. Guys, we can't cry. We're big girls. Hey, Levi! Up here in the tree! It's Cutie! What the? Whoa! Cutie! You guys, what are you doing up there? You guys look really high up there. Um, that's because we are really high up here. Hey, uh, Levi, we hate to bother you in your time of mourning, but we're kind of stuck up here. If you have a ladder big and tall enough, that would be great. So that we could just uh, be kind of on the down low and not get in as much trouble. That would be awesome. Oh yeah, totally, dudettes. I'll do you one better. I've got some stairs. Let me go grab them real quick. Okay, thank you. Yeah, don't mention it, dudettes. Totally chill. I'll be back. Stairs? Isn't that the same thing as a ladder? I love you. All right, dudettes. The stairs have been installed. It's all up to you now. Oh, he's so dreamy and perfect. Alrighty then, okay, well I'll uh, be the first to test these stairs out. Okay, so far so good. Oh, I made it down, you guys. You go ahead. Um, hey Levi? Yes, do that. If I fall, will you catch me? I can most definitely certainly try. <laughs> okay, that's all I need to know, I'm good. I'm so in love, I can hardly stand it. These are so weird and such babies. Ugh, I just want to get home. Thank you for saving us, Levi. If it wasn't for you, we would die. Whoa, so you guys were legit stuck? I actually saved you? No, you, no, you really didn't save us. It's just easier to get back down the stairs. You know, using stairs is so convenient. Mm, we didn't want to mess up our outfits, so thank you for making it more convenient and easier for us. We appreciate it. We gotta get going. Um, we're gonna be late for uh, dinner. Yeah, dinner. 
All right, well, I'll uh, see you guys later. <laughs> did you have a cat? And did it die? Oh, yeah, you saw me crying, huh? I was mourning the loss of my kitty. She was such a cool cat. She would, like, chill on my surfboard with me when I was surfing. Oh, she was so legit. Yeah, I miss her a lot, and I visit her quite often. Anyways, we'll keep that uh, moment between me and you three girls. Um, anyways, uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Uh, bye. Peace out, Cub Scout. Bye. 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 All right, you guys, we're about to get the wrath of Mom and Dad. Oh, oh yeah, here goes nothing. Oh, they're not going to be very happy with us. All right, honey, I'll call the police. Why don't you, I don't know, send some text messages out and let people know that we're looking for our girls. Okay, sounds like a plan. <gasps> Who's coming in the house? Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Sparkles! Yeah, hi. Hey, Mom and Dad. We're back. And I'm I'm here, too. Oh, girls, come here! Okay, but are you mad at us? Yes, but more worried and scared, sick that you guys... I don't know. Come here. Give your mom a hug. I've been worrying to death. Oh, Harper. Oh, my gosh. Sparkles, why aren't you coming over here? Give us a hug. Because I'm scared. Scared of what? You're home, safe and sound. He's scared that she's going to get in trouble because she's the one that um started all of this. Because she wanted an adventure and didn't want to stay home with the babysitter because the babysitter is really lame. So she wanted to sneak out of the house, so we figured we better go with her so that she's safer. Sparkles, is that true? Yes. Every word. Well, first come here and give me a hug because you had me worried sick. I'm sorry, Mom and Dad. I truly am. I didn't mean for it to get this out of hand. <sighs> Sparkles, the thing is, you know way better. Your dad and I have taught you way better than to sneak out of the house. What would you suppose your dad and I do if you guys were gone? We don't know if you got kidnapped, if you did just sneak out, if you were at a friend's house. You always need to let your dad or I know where you're going. And in this case, we expected you guys to stay at home. We thought that you guys were safe in your room being babysat. Our babysitter Nikki is really weird, and she's not that good at babysitting. Well, yeah, we know that now because she had no idea where you guys were. She should have had a very close eye on you guys. Where did you guys go anyways? The cemetery. What? Why would you go there? Because it's fun to play hide and seek there. That sounds pretty disrespectful to play hide and seek at a cemetery, Sparkles. And you got your sisters involved. That's not very cool. You need to be a good example to them. I'm sorry. Girls, parents don't like getting mad or after their kids. But there's a reason that we have rules. And there's a reason why we need to know where you guys are at all times. There's a lot of bad people out there and we need to we need to be safe and use our brains and think about our actions before we do them. There's consequences for everything. I couldn't agree more, girls. We really are sorry, Mom and Dad, and Kitty and I should have tried to restrain Sparkles or talk to our babysitter or tell her that Sparkles was getting out of hand and leaving. We will never do that again. It was way too scary. Yep, way too scary. We'll never do it again. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mom and Dad. And I'm sorry, sisters. It's okay, Sparkles. You.